Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Today is Monday, September 9th. And this is your morning prayer. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alrighty. Um, so today I wanted to kind of um, piggyback off of um, my sermon from yesterday, in which, um, so yesterday I would preach on Isaiah 35, I think 35 verse 4, and that is um, basically God giving this promise saying, um, telling Isaiah to tell these people with, with these anxious hearts, you know, that, that I am coming, I will come and save them. So the sermon was, was about anxiety and, and those who, who have anxious hearts and what do we do with that? How do we, how do we deal with that in a Christian way? And, um, you know, the unfortunate reality is that, um, you know, sometimes with, with anxiety, either as a, as a, condition where we we suffer from it or if just times that we become anxious is that um sometimes we we experience and deal with these things the same things the same way we we feel and experience sin that um it is something that you know is, is not supposed to be we're not supposed to be anxious and you know, jesus reminds us over and over again not to be anxious um but you know just like he says be holy as your father in heaven is holy you know, we're, we're supposed to be without sin, right? That's that's the way we're supposed to be. That's the way we were created to be. Unfortunately, we still deal with it. Um, now, as with sin, Jesus frees us from it, frees us from the condemnation of the law. He, he frees us from the guilt of our sin. Um, he forgives it. Um, however, we still struggle with it until he returns. And so it is with sometimes our anxieties that we struggle with them. We know we shouldn't. Um, we know it's it's usually not good. <laughs> um, and yet we still struggle with it, but we, we struggle. Um, we wrestle with it with, with hope, which is the same way we deal with, with so many things in our life. Um, grief, you know, we, we grieve when we lose somebody. Absolutely. But we grieve with hope, you know, grieving, knowing that on the last day, when Jesus returns, all those who have died in the faith will rise again. So we, we grieve with hope. Um, we wrestle with sin, with hope. We deal with our anxiety with hope. So all these things, this is how we, we go with it. And one of the points that I was making was that, you know, we, you don't, we shouldn't minimize these things. Just like we, we shouldn't minimize our sin. We shouldn't minimize our anxieties. Um, and um, when, when Jesus says, you know, don't be anxious, don't be afraid. We sometimes take that to mean that Jesus is saying, there's no reason to be like there, there's, you, there is no reason to be afraid. There's no reason to be anxious about anything because if you had faith in me, like you should, then you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be worried. You wouldn't be anxious. That's not what he's saying. Okay. And the reason why I know this <laughs> is because we have um, texts like Matthew six thirty four, which I was going to bring into the sermon yesterday, but it just didn't, di didn't fit in with what I, where I was going. So here I bring it out today. So Matthew six thirty four. Love what Jesus says here. It says, therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. <laughs> and I love this very brief thing that Jesus says here that you probably just read it and like, okay, and glance at it and move on. But notice what he's saying here. You know, okay, today, don't be anxious about tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Tomorrow, there'll be tomorrow's anxieties. There'll be things to be worried about tomorrow, but that's tomorrow. Don't worry today about what's going to happen tomorrow, okay? Which sounds a lot like what, what he says, you know, about not being afraid, whatever. But I love what he says, sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Where Jesus is, is essentially saying like, yes, there's trouble today. You know, enough for you today is dealing with the trouble that you have to deal with today. 
Um, this is on par with when, when he says, in this life you will have trouble. There will be tribulation in this life. Um, Jesus does not come to promise us that today, this life, um, is free from troubles and sin and, and all this other stuff. That's, a, that's what he, he did on the cross, was he died on the cross for you, he rose from the dead for you, and that means that everything in this life is going to be just beautiful. And now you might think, well, well, of course, of course he didn't say, didn't mean that. A lot of people might believe that way. And in fact, that's usually where the, um, if you only had enough faith kind of thing comes into play, where people have this mistaken idea that, you know what, if you had enough faith, if you just had enough faith, then you would be living a sweet, perfect life, that there wouldn't be bad things happening. If you only had faith, these things wouldn't be happening to you. And so it turns back, as sin always does, turns back inward on yourself. If you only, if you only had that, 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 that. And um, this is a very dangerous road to go down because it's it puts us all back on you, and eventually it it just it it's a faith destroyer, because at some point you you just you you, you can't fight anymore. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I've tried to have enough faith. I've tried, I tried, I tried. Nothing is working. And so I just give up. It's it's a dangerous road to go down. Um, so we just take Jesus at what he says and we we understand now. <laughs> it's like, okay, he said, sufficient for today is its own trouble. Okay, there will be trouble today. <laughs> I, I I hate to to be the bearer of bad tidings on this Monday morning. <laughs> you know, brand new day, starting this new week. Um, and, and here I am telling you today, sufficient for today is its own trouble. There will be trouble today. You'll have to deal with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but we couple that, we couple that reality with, look, it's a broken, sinful world. Yes, we are redeemed, um, in Jesus Christ. Yes, we are forgiven. Yes, we are declared not guilty of our sin. Yes, we are healed and, and, and restored in Jesus Christ. Absolutely. And we still live as that in a broken, sin-filled world. And in that, there's trouble. Sufficient for today is its own trouble. But don't be anxious about tomorrow. Live in the moment. <laughs> Look at what you have to do today. And know that though there's trouble, there's also Christ. So when you're looking ahead at your day and you're like, okay, I, I can even see the spots of trouble. <laughs> you know, not even counting the ones that are just going to pop up out of nowhere. Um, as you're, as you're dealing with, as you're going about your day, know that Christ is with you every step. Um, that's the, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I am with you. Um, do not be afraid. I am coming to save you. Um, Jesus gives us the comfort for every moment that we're going through and also gives us the advanced comfort of, and as I am with you every step of this road, also know that I will come to be with you in in a in a whole new way when I return, and I am coming and I will save you. On that day, I will bring everything to fulfillment. Today, you have you have a bit of it. You you have you have the promise in your heart of that completion. Okay, and that promise is so certain you can rely on that. You can rely on that promise. But until then, know that I am with you. Come, take everything to Him in prayer. And, and trust that he is with you uh, and he will guide you through this. So, um, yeah, Matthew 6, 34 is a nice little cap on that to um, to point out that, hey, you know, yeah, there, there is trouble. Sufficient for today is, is his own anxieties. Um, so it it's, reminds us that, like, yeah, this is what we deal with, but we don't deal with it alone. You don't deal with it alone. So uh, God will be with you today. Christ will be right by your side. Um, so whatever troubles you have lined up for today, Christ be with you, because he will be. Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your, body, into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things, let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Blessings to you on this Monday. Hope you have a great day today. Uh, hope your week starts off well. 
and I will see you tomorrow. So until then, peace be with you.